we're gonna build a wall and we're gonna make Mexico pay for it. I don't think I need to tell you who said that, but let's take a look at how realistic Trump's wall actually is. The US-Mexico border is around 1,900 miles long. It's currently a mixture of fences, natural barriers, or nothing along the border. Now building a wall is not going to be an easy task. The government has tried to build double layered fencing along the border before, but faced a lot of opposition. On top of this, there are mountains, rivers, deserts, and other hard to build on surfaces along the border. So getting around these problems is a start, but let's look at how much the wall will actually cost. The wall is expected to cost as low as 10 billion or as high as 25 billion, depending on who you ask. There's currently 650 miles of fencing that costs around 7 billion, but this hasn't been very effective at keeping illegal immigrants out. Building a wall that keeps people out and the 1,000 miles that Trump wants is most likely going to cost close to the higher number. So who is going to pay for it? While Trump claimed Mexico will pay, initially it will be the US government footing the bill. Congress will have to provide the funds at first, something that wasn't mentioned in the campaign. So Trump thinks that the US will pay first and Mexico will repay them. But how would this actually work? The Mexican president has stated that Mexico will not pay. One that talks about options is a 20% tariff on Mexican goods. But this leads to a load more problems. Prices for US citizens will increase, or Mexico could retaliate with tariffs of their own or cutting tax benefits for the US. So what is building the wall actually going to achieve? It will most likely reduce the number of illegal immigrants coming into the US, but it's not going to stop them all. People will always find ways to go under, over, or around the wall. This is a problem with the current fence at the moment. The increase in number of border patrol staff will definitely help reduce this problem, but this, combined with maintaining the wall, all adds to the cost of the proposal. So is this all realistic? Not only will it be difficult to build and expensive for US taxpayers, there's no real plan to gain back the money, and the effectiveness of the wall won't be seen until it's built. I don't really doubt that Trump wants to build it, and it probably will be built, but I can't really see it as a worthwhile investment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.